right down below me, these two sauna tubes, they're 20 inches wide. These are the same size of the pipeline that's running through the straits, about four miles that way. It, it runs right through the water. It's uh, not supported. There's a 300-foot channel or so that runs right through the middle of the straits, and it's unsupported. It goes for about three quarters of a, about a half mile to three quarters of a mile unsupported through the straits. So as our amazing speakers start to give you the information about this and what we can do, look at these pipes. What if they were to break? Th tens of thousands of gallons go through there an hour. It's amazing. Um, some of the organizations that, were, that helped put this together. GC350 was the kind of like the seed organization, but we also want to say 350.org, the support of Bill McKibben, and funding to help make this all happen. The Michigan Land Use Institute, they gave us real amazing on the ground support in Traverse City. The National Wildlife Federation, the Beth Wallace and her people. Traverse City, the Citizens Climate Lobby. The Michigan Environmental Council with Kate Madigan and James Cliff's help. Freshwater Future. If you donate some money online, they'll match it. Uh, Northern Michigan Environmental Action Council. They call NEMIAC in Traverse City. Western Michigan Environmental Action Council. The Porter Family Foundation. Detroit Coalition Against Tar Sands. The Michigan Coalition Against Tar Sands. Flow for Water. Food and Water Watch. The Ecology Center in Ann Arbor 350. And Circle of Blue is here doing photography. Amazing. Can have some incredible pictures. So a lot of these organizations are represented here at the tables. Please go check them out after the program. It's gonna, you're gonna, they're gonna blow your mind with what's going on and how you can get involved. Also, I'd like to give a shout out to Peter Sinclair, a local climate activist and expert. He just spent 17 days in Greenland shooting uh, video and film and uh, he's going to put together a program this coming Thursday at the Garden Theater in Frankfurt, 7 o'clock. Uh, go to, to the TC350 uh, Facebook page and you'll find out all about it. But that's Peter Sinclair over here. Peter! Also, buses that came. We've got buses that came from Traverse City thanks to MLUI and TC350. Grand Rapids, the West Michigan Environmental Action Council. Ann Arbor, the Ecology Center. And Ann Arbor 350. And Green Bay, can you believe it? Where are the Green Bay people? Thanks to the Clean Water Action Coalition, the Sierra Club, Four Lakes Group, Minnesota 350, and Madison 350. TC 350 is an organization working to prevent the worst effects of climate change. The tenuous situation occurring at the Straits wouldn't be happening if it wasn't for us using up all this easy to access fossil fuel. These tar sands are the worst kind of fossil fuel there is. And before they're exploited, we have to take action now to, set, to prevent this horrible carbon bomb from setting off. So yes, we need to keep our lakes clean. But due to that, it's more than about a pipeline. It's about getting busy to create a clean energy future and bringing to light that carbon bomb that's ticking, ticking, ticking every day. <laughs>